Hey guys, it's Chloe, and I'm here today with celebrity psychic Thomas John. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. All right, so we are here today to talk a little bit about National Psychic Week that is going on right mm -hmm. now. And uh, so, Thomas, what should everybody be doing this week? <laughs> Getting a psychic reading. Okay. Yeah, it's really just a week where, you know, we just kind of acknowledge the, the gift of intuition and, and clairvoyance. And so... Really, it's just a week about, you know, thinking about psychics and stuff. Now, does everyone have a sixth sense or intuition? <laughs> Do you believe in that whole, like, trust your gut? Everybody does have it. I, I feel everybody can definitely use it for their own abilities and for their own life. I don't know if everybody should go and set up shop as a psychic, but a lot of people, I, I, everybody can use intuition to enhance their lives. So would this be the week if you never have had a psychic reading to just bite the bullet and just do it? Yeah, absolutely. As long as it's someone that's reputable and has a good track record, you should definitely pursue a reading. So what do you have going on uh, in the next coming weeks? Anything exciting? Um, um, just, you know, my readings and also I'm doing uh, actually uh, two classes that I'm going to be doing. One's at the Meta Center downtown okay. in Chelsea and the other one is actually a webinar that anybody can participate in. So if you're in New York, how can you find out about what you're doing? It's uh, mediumthomas.com and it's posted on my blog section. And, and then the other thing is, so anyone all over the country can yep, be involved? all you need is a computer. Really? Yeah. And is it expensive or what's nope, the deal? No, it's pretty reasonably priced okay. and uh, it's uh, actually the one that's the webinar is six, two hours our sessions and you also get a like a consultation with me at the end you get all the course materials you and get... he's the real deal let me <laughs> tell you he has told me some things that are happening uh, look let's just get right down to it though so Kristen Stewart Robert Pattinson Rupert Sanders Liberty Ross it's this just melting pot of just madness so Kristen as you know cheated on Rob her longtime boyfriend with Rupert Sanders the director of Snow White and the Huntsman you've seen the pics what do you think's going on here I mean, there's definitely the need to sort of restore and repair there. I actually do see Rob and Kristen getting back together. Okay. I just feel like it's not going to be anytime soon, but there will be a reconciliation there. When you say not anytime soon, do you mean not in the next coming days or weeks? Or are you definitely talking? not then. Next year sometime. What do you think about how Twilight, Breaking Dawn Part 2, hits theaters on November 18th? Supposedly, Summit is a little bit nervous about uh, the press tour and things that they're going to be doing. What is your feeling we're going to be hearing about a lot of drama. I don't think, I think it's going to be, there's going to be lots of fighting and arguments. And I, I see, we're going to be hearing a lot of stories about just, there's a lot of negative energy there and not, not, things have not been repaired. People are not, you know, willing to. And I feel like Rob is going to almost kind of be really just like not wanting anything to do with her right now. But they, I do still feel like they will get back together. Do you think that Kristen and Rupert were in love with each other? No, I feel like it was just a lust type of feeling. Do you think that Rupert and his wife, they have two children together, ages five and seven, they've been spotted out together, he's wearing his wedding ring, she is not. Do you think that they may be reconciling? They're going to reconcile. I don't see them separating. Okay. And why do you think that this affair was so public, uh, you know, at least in these photos, that they were making out on the streets of L.A. in a car in the middle of the day. <laughs> you would think that celebrities have enough money to at least get a swanky hotel room or something. Mm -hmm. What do you, what's your What favorite? I hear is self-destruction. I feel like it's, there's a lot of self-destruction on Kristen's part with that. Um, sometimes we, we get something that's so great, we just want to destroy it because it's so, so anxiety-provoking, and that's what I feel that was about. It was, it was really something to almost to get caught in a way. Do you think it was going on for a long time or was it just a momentary indiscretion that certain people are saying that's what it was? Um, unfortunately, I feel like it was going on for quite a while, yeah. I think you a mean couple weeks, mo months? A few months, a couple months, yeah. Okay. I think there was m multiple instances of it. Okay, so in the meantime, do you think Kristen should just lay low and just kind of back away? From yeah, she needs to really retreat. She needs to kind of hermit and, and, and just kind of get her grounding back. Do you see this hurting her film career at all? Not really. I don't see any career ramifications from it ne that are negative. I mean, I, I do see she's going to sort of come out of the limelight for a little bit, a personal choice, but I don't, I don't really see it affecting her career. Last question. Do you see Rob dating any other girls besides Kristen anytime soon? Do you think we're going to see him spotted out with anyone? Yes. Okay. Somebody blonde. Blonde hair. Somebody girl. blonde. No. And is it someone that maybe he has known or has met before, or is it someone new? Um, I feel like it's pretty much somebody new. It's not like an ex or anything. Okay. 
but it's not going to be someone that we've heard about or anything. I don't, don't feel think. so, no. Okay. <laughs> Is she going to be British, you think? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not yeah, sure, sure about that. Okay. Well, you know he's British, so oh, you know, okay. maybe. Right. Okay. Well, listen, guys. This is the latest on the Chris and Stuart Robert Pattinson <laughs> scandal because Thomas John knows what he's talking about. If you get any other premonitions or updates, will you let us know? Yes, I will. Okay, guys, so for more on Thomas John, you have to like him on Facebook, follow him on Twitter. Uh, you can email him, maybe? Yeah, yeah I'm, it's all under Medium Thomas, mediumthomas.com. My Facebook and Twitter is Medium Thomas. And if you're in New York, you've got to check him out. <laughs> so for all the latest news, gossip, style, beauty, and more, keep coming back to HollywoodLife.com.